Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're a live streamer using Wirecast, you know how important it is to bring in guests live into your show easily and with as much flexibility as you can get. So today I'm going to show you three powerful ways to bring in guests live. The first is with Skype NDI, the second is with Zoom integrations, and the third is with Wirecast's own rendezvous. Whether you're doing interviews, panels, or remote collaborations, these tools will help you host a professional live stream with ease. Okay, so let's bring in a guest from Skype. So first thing you want to do is head over to your Skype and go into the settings. And then under the calling tab, and then you go to advanced, in here, you'll notice that there's a NDI usage uh, allow NDI usage. So you want to have that on. So make sure it's blue. And then it allows you to place the watermark however you like. So I'll just put it in the top left corner there. So now close out of your settings. Head over to Skype and make a call. Oh, so I'm going to start this call. Okay. And once okay. your caller has joined, what you can do if you don't want your main camera in the show is um, up in the view uh, option in the top right, click on that, and then uncheck this show me in the call screen. And then that's going to put you up in a little area here where all your callers will be. And you can also click it again, and there's an option to hide people at the top. So if you check that now, you just see your main speakers and, and not you. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to head into Wirecast. And we're going to add a new shot by clicking the plus button in the layer down on the timeline down there. And under, under network, under the network area, you're going to see under your NDI sources, these are where your um, Skype speakers are going to be. So um, I know that the user I have joined, that's another account that I have called this account. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to click add. Okay, and now you can see on the preview window, I have that speaker as a guest. And I can, of course, you know, move the videos scale it i can create a split if i want and really do whatever i want with this now it's a full shot source not just um, a screen capture now what you can do which is really cool is you can if you turn your um virtual camera on under the output menu under virtual camera click on start and then head back over to skype and you can select the video camera that you want to use um, for your source. If I select my virtual camera, now my all my speakers in Skype are going to see the entire output of uh, my Wirecast. So that's Skype. All right, now, so let's take a look at the Zoom. So open up your Zoom application. And for this exercise, I'm just going to start a new meeting. But in this case, you can join, start a meeting or join a meeting. And I'm going to go to the participants and I'm going to uh, copy that invite link. Head back to Wirecast and under the social menu at the top, there's a Zoom option and you want to click join Zoom meeting. And the first option here, invite link, paste that link right into there and then hit join. And you have to tell your whoever's hosting the Zoom meeting that they're going to get a message pop up that says request to live stream. And whoever the host is should click grant permission. And then in Zoom, it's there's my view right there. Let me put the camera on. That's me. And then on the left, that's the Wirecast meeting that has just joined into the meeting. You just want to see the face, right? So you click on that. And then we're going to put, and let's hide non-video participants. And that's going to get rid of that wirecast from the view. So now 
we're going to head back to wire, Wirecast, and we're going to add a new shot in our layer. And again, on the network tab on the left, you'll see at the very bottom, there's some Zoom participants. And in there, these are where your speakers are going to be. So in this case, it's just me. I'm going to add that. And now you can see, okay, so here my video is coming through through another video source. So it's a little degraded, but that's me. That's where all your speakers will be. And if you have another speaker, you just add another shot and you add that speaker again and you keep adding and until you have all your speakers in. And as with Skype, you can skip, you can move this video source, you can scale it. It's a full video source. Gives you all the options. And one more thing, if you want to in Wirecast, again, if you're the producer and you don't want to show yourself on the screen, just click in the little menu here and put, and once you self view, and once you click that, that will make your video disappear from all the other speakers. And then you might just want to mute that. And again, under your video source, you can go ahead and click on Wirecast virtual camera. And that's going to output your entire election to all the speakers on Zoom. All right. And now we're going to bring in guests with Wirecast on Rendezvous. So to get to Rendezvous, go to the window menu and go to the Rendezvous dashboard. And that's going to bring up your options. And start at the bottom. The best thing to do is hit start session. And, and you click on create session. And while you're here, copy that link. And then you provide that link to all of the speakers you want on your show. And they are just going to open that up in a web browser. And once, once they enter that link and they click on the join button, you'll see them pop up just like that. Now you want to head into the main Wirecast window. And once again, we're going to add a new shot. And this time you'll see under the network tab again, now there's a rendezvous session area and there's my guest, Adam. So I'm going to click to add that guest and there's the shot. And again, you repeat that step for all your guests. And then just like with Zoom and Skype, now all your guests are full shots that you can move and scale, etc. So there you have it, three awesome ways to bring in live guests into Wirecast, Skype and DI, Zoom integrations, and Wirecast rendezvous. So if you like this video, please click the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to my channel. Bye.